customer who comes in is my turn And there they are now Hello, my name is Diamond I'm going to be your chandelier expert today Welcome to the store What specifically brings you in? Okay Multiple Okay, how many chandeliers do you need? Three Are they for you? That is awesome! I would love to get a gift of a chandelier <laughs> Okay So we are looking for three chandeliers for family and friends You're going to gift them Do you know what style you're looking for? You have everything written down? Well, I would love to take a look at that Let's see what you got Oh wow, you really have everything written down Alright, so this says here you need three different chandeliers as gifts for friends and family members with different house and decor styles Alright, that should be no problem We have just about every style that you could want or need So let's see what styles you have written down here You need one farmhouse style chandelier One classic glam Oh, that one's gonna be so fun Glamour is my forte And you need one industrial slash modern style Okay And let's see, you have the room dimensions even written down Wow, you are awesome For the farmhouse one You are going to be placing it above the kitchen island The square footage of the room is 145 square feet the colors in that room are grays and neutrals um, What else do you have here? Light brown colored cabinets and white countertops No doubt that we will be able to find something awesome for the farmhouse one Let's take a look at the classic glamour It is going to be for a master bedroom with the square footage of 200 feet That is a great size room Light colored carpet and light gray walls and you're looking for a modern touch And then for the industrial It is going in an entryway A mix between iron metals and wood throughout the house So is that the theme throughout their whole house? The iron with mixed with the wood? Okay, really cool And then it says looking for a statement piece, something different and then I see down here at the bottom that you are looking at preferably a $1,200 budget Alright, well we can work with that I'm gonna set this paper here if you don't mind And I'm going to bring up some great chandeliers that we can look at that fits your style for each one, okay? Give me just a second What's awesome is, since you have kind of the colors that are in each room, as well as the square footage I'm actually going to type that into our system And what that's going to do when I type it in, is actually give us the best options for price um, Best match based on compatibility And also the best styles for highest rated It'll give us the top three out of each style that you have chosen here that you want So let's go ahead and let me type that in The first one, let's look at farmhouse And we are putting that in the kitchen Above the island And anything else, oh yeah, 145 square feet for the room dimension Or square footage, sorry And then also neutrals, light brown and white for colors Alright 
let's take a look at the farmhouse styles. Okay. Let's first look at the... Oh, this one is stunning. So this is the Grey Barn High Clear. High Clear, High Clear. Not 100% sure on the pronunciation. But it's the 12 Light Wagon Wheel Chandelier. This is a solid iron ring. So you have that really nice iron, dark metal... And then you have the 12 different lights, and they are kind of like a candle style. You know, they look like candles, <laughs> obviously. And that one is really, really pretty because you have the gold accents for the rod of the candle. <laughs> candle. And this one is available in multiple finish options. You don't have to just get the dark iron. If you don't like that, we can pull up some other colors. But the good thing is it has a one-year manufacturer's warranty on it. And for the dimensions, it's going to be 39 inches in diameter and 35 inches high. And we don't have a length on the chain. I believe we can get that in any length that you might need. And it does require the 12 candle, candle, candelabra bulbs, which are not included with the purchase of the light. You would have to purchase those separately. But this light is definitely a statement piece and would look absolutely amazing over a kitchen island. And the price for this one is running at $273.59. What do you think about this one? Is it kind of what you were picturing or not really? Okay. Well, you never know. Sometimes you think that's the one. And then you'll look at two, three more. And maybe the third one is actually the one. You never know. It's how you look at it, right? And we have all the time to look through each and every one to make sure you really are happy with what you're purchasing. Let's take a look at the next one. We are going to have... Oh, I personally love this one. It is the Industrial Lantern Cage Chandelier Pendant 3 Light Hanging Ceiling Lighting Fixtures. This is obviously a trio, a trio, and you're going to get those three lantern style cage, um, cage lights. They're very, very pretty, especially in the kitchen as shown in this picture here. They are staged in the kitchen and you get three bulbs in each one. So nine lights total and it is in that lovely iron color. Love the iron. The lighting type is mini cage chandelier. The fixture finish they have labeled as rust. The material is obviously metal and they are for an indoor setting, which we are clearly looking for, unless the kitchen's outside for some reason. Um, the number of lights, you're going to get three. Three lights, nine bulbs. And the dimensions of these are... 9.1 inches long by 9.1 inches wide by 24.4 inches high. So two feet roughly, that's how tall they are. Very good size. I personally feel like that's very general and average. Um, they're not too small, but they're not overly big where you walk in the kitchen and you're like, are these like, what is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? But they're very beautiful, and again, these are based on the top selling and top reviewed. So people have bought these and have been very, very happy with their purchase. No, they don't come in any other colors, just this rust, but it's not your typical rust, like as in orangey rust. It's literally that dark iron kind of distressed a bit. But as you can tell, it looks very, very complimentary with the wood that's in the background 
and the white counters and white, um, the white walls. So you have here that the colors are grays and neutrals with light brown cabinets and white countertops. So that's very similar to what's in the picture here. And as you can see, I personally think the colors complement each other very well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we had that big um, iron ring light for the first one. Then we just checked out the lantern cage ones. Let's go to the third and final light and see which one is your top contender, okay? All right, we have the farmhouse entwined ovals, four light wooden chandelier. And if we take a look, definitely, I'm not sure how many ovals are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe somewhere along the lines of ten. Could be more. Maybe it's an illusion and my mind is playing tricks on me. But just take a look at the image. And here the materials are both metal and wood. The color is labeled as distressed white. The number of lights, meaning how many bulbs, like how many inserts for bulbs, is going to be four. And it is incandescent bulbs, that's the compatible bulb type. It's nice when they list that because you don't always know. The overall size is going to be 18.9 inches wide by 17.7 .7 inches high. Oh, and also the chain length is mentioned here, and that's going to be 39.37 inches. Pretty decent sized chain. And I personally really like this light for farmhouse, but it is completely up to you on which style you think is going to fit your family member or friend's house best, because of course you're the one that has seen it, I have not. So now I would like to ask you, out of the three that we've taken a look at, are any of them sticking out? Do you, did you like one of them? Do you prefer one of them over the rest? The first one? All right. So that is the Gray Barn High Clear 12 Light Wagon Wheel Chandelier. And that one is running at the price of $273.59 And are you set on that? That's the one you want to do for sure for the farmhouse style? Alright Perfect Let's go to the next which is going to be the classic glamour And let me just remind myself of what we're looking for here. Master bedroom with uh, 200 square feet, light colored carpet, and light gray walls, and you're looking for a modern touch. Well, I think I have just that for you. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. This first one is the Chrome Crystal Four Light Square Chandelier. Pretty basic with the title name, but that's okay. It is absolutely beautiful if I do say so myself. The square looks lovely with the extra diamonds hanging down. This one is going to be a chrome fixture finish, of course. Indoor setting. It includes a 39.4 inch chain. You can always cut this to be shorter if needed. The dimensions of this is 20 inches high by 17 inches wide and 17 inches long. And it says this chandelier is suitable for a space 200 square feet to 300 square feet. And we know that you are looking for 200 square feet approximately, that's the room size. So, sounds like a match made in heaven to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I won't persuade you until you see the rest. But, 
it is a pretty, pretty lovely lamp or light. Why did I say lamp? This isn't a lamp. <laughs> this is a chandelier. Get it right. Um, and this one is $171.99. What do you think of it? That's just beautiful, right? Oh, I know. I totally agree. Well, keep that in mind. Let's look at the next one that we have matched with. Wowza. Wowza. This one. Too beautiful for its own good. This is the Miami Beach 8 Light Crystal Ring Chandelier in Chrome. Wow. It includes 7 feet of hanging cord. Of course, it is indoor setting. And it is available in antique brass and chrome. I'm gonna assume that you would want to stick with the chrome only because you have the light colored carpet and the gray walls in that room and I think if we were to do an antique brass it's not gonna be as beautiful as the chrome is in my opinion um, and then the dimensions of this light is going to be 20 inches high by 30 inches wide and oh this one is just out of this world stunning. You can see it's all layered and intertwined so beautifully. The crystals are just chef's kiss beautiful. And this light is going to run you $503.98. Don't fall over on me. I know it's quite a hefty price, but come on. That light is extravagant. Am I right? Yeah, it's just lovely. Well, is the price throwing you off at all, or is it like, that's worth it to you? Okay, I just wanted to know if we still had a contender in the running, or if we should just say like, G -g -g -g, not that one. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the third and final one for the glam. Oh my gosh. Now, this is the chrome nine light chandelier with crystal wow such a descriptive title you know just makes you want to say yeah i need that chrome nine light chandelier with crystal who makes these names i would name this one what would i name this one dripping crystal chandelier <laughs> anyway this one is just beautiful i know i say that about all of them but this one really captured my eye. It's going to be crystal, of course, for the material. The light direction is multi-directional, which is awesome. And then the metal finish is going to be chrome. Now with this one, the height is 36 inches, width is 26, and it includes 18 inches of chain. So, pr pretty good amount of chain. 18 inches is just like, you know, a foot and six inches, so a foot and a half. Um, if you picture that coming down from the ceiling, that is a decent length to then start the dripping chandelier. But what I do want to mention to you about this one is, considering it's 36 inches tall, do you know if there's tall ceilings in that bedroom? Wonderful. I was going to say, if you are interested in this one, you do want to make sure that the ceilings are relatively tall because of the fact that it's quite a tall light. So you don't want to put it on a regular schmegular room and you walk in, boop, hits you in the head. Um, that would be bad. So I just want to make sure that the room would be tall enough for this light. Well, this one is $226.39. And now I would love to ask you, which one out of these three have been the most intriguing to you? Or which one do you find to be the most drawn to that you think would look great in this bedroom? You're really drawn to that second one? Oh, the Miami Beach 8 Light Crystal Ring? Yes, that one is just next level. 
it's beautiful. I feel like it just takes your breath away for some reason. Are you set? Is that the one that you would like to add? Alright, whoever is getting these light fixtures, I'm sure are going to love you. I'm sure they already love you, but I would be super excited too. And that one's going to be $503.98, just to recap with you. Okay. And last but not least, let's go to the industrial style chandeliers. Quick recap on what you're looking for, just to refresh my memory. Um, an entryway, it's for an entryway, okay. Is there a big door or a big window in this entryway? Oh, I thought so. So we want a statement piece. All right. And the vibes throughout the house are metals and wood. All right. Let's take a look at what we got. The first one. We have Copper Grove Poltava. Six light English bronze globe chandelier. Ooh. Um, how many rings are there? I'm not sure, but that is pretty. One, two, three, four? I think four rings, if I'm not mistaken. It says, beautifully hand-painted English bronze finish. Hand clear glass, uh, I'm sorry, hanging clear glass accent. Do you see that hanging down from the bottom? Oh, gives it just a touch of modern. This piece includes one 8-inch rod, 72 inches of chain, and 120 inches of wire so it can be hung at your desired height. The fixture dimensions are 27 and a half inches high by 22 and a half inches in diameter, so wide. And wow, that is stunning. I love how the little light bulbs in the middle are just circular globes. So awesome. Modern touch. And this light is at $319.87 as the sale price currently. So what do you think about that? No doubt it is very nice. I really like it too. Um, it kind of gives me a minimalist but modern and industrial vibe. So I say minimalist because it's very sleek and clean, but I love that little gem that hangs off the bottom for some reason. That just sold me on it. Yeah, okay, well let's keep it in mind. Let's browse the other two and see what you think of those before we make a final decision. Alright, let's browse the rest. Here we have the Benita Antique Black 4 Light Metal Globe Crystal Chandelier. Wow. The chain is 39.4 inches. Of course, we are again looking at indoor setting. The fixture finish is Antique Black, which they have a description. It is black finish with a light brush of brown. And the crystals in the middle are clear. The fixture is 16 inches in diameter, 18 inches high. And the ceiling plate is 4.7 inches in diameter and 1 inch high. That is beautiful. As you can see, it has the rings that wrap around in all different direction. But what's really selling me? is that chandelier in the middle. Can you even tell it's there, barely? <sighs> to me, that is a statement piece. Wow. And it probably reflects beautifully when the light is turned on, when the sun hits it. Oh. Wow. You like it a lot? I thought you would, because you said that you're looking for something a bit different. And when you think of industrial, you don't really think of mixing in a touch of glam, right? But that's exactly what this is. So you have the metals. Of course, there's no wood in this, but you have diamonds. <laughs> Can't go wrong there. 
so I just wanted to show you that, briefly touch on it. This one is on sale for $176.84. And are you ready to go to the third and final? Okay. This has your metal and wood mixed in. We are looking at the rustic three light rectangle metal wood kitchen island chandelier for dining room. <laughs> and uh, yes, this is supposed to be in the dining room or the kitchen technically, but it could work perfectly fine in the entryway. Just because it says kitchen or dining room doesn't mean I can't put it in my bedroom or bathroom. <laughs> so don't let that throw you off. That's just the title. And let's see. The material is both wood and iron, which is exactly what is throughout the house. The setting indoor, duh. And the dimensions are going to be 23.6 inches long by 9.8 inches high and 9.8 inches um, wide. So, good size. Um, is it a statement piece? Depends on who you ask. Some people might say, yes, that's very unique. Personally, I think the statement piece was the last one we just looked at. <laughs> but this one is going to be $286.99. You're sold on that middle one, aren't you? Alright, let's go back. That was the... Benita Antique Black 4 Light Metal Globe Crystal Chandelier $176.84 Okay, that is perfect, perfect, perfect Now, we are going to have to order these So what that means is we'll get the order in from the warehouse and we keep a lot on stock here, but they're mostly just for show and display. We always order them so that they can be brand new and fresh out of the box. No damage, no nicks, no broken wires, fixtures, nothing like that. So let me see here. Give me just a moment and I'm going to get your total for you for those fixtures. Okay, two seventy three fifty nine plus five oh three ninety eight plus one seventy six eighty four nine hundred fifty four dollars and forty one cents would be your grand total. Is that okay with you? Okay. And all I'm gonna need today, it usually takes only about two to three business days for the inventory that we order to get here from the warehouse. So all I need is just your name and contact information and then a $150 deposit. That will go towards your final total, okay? All right. What is your first name, please? And your last name? And the best contact phone number for you, please. Thank you. Now, let's see, 954.41 minus 150. So you owe 150 today for the deposit, and then once the light fixtures arrive and you come to pick it up, you will owe $804.41. Alright. Okay. So let me charge you for that $150. Are you paying by card? Okay. Let me get the card reader set up for you right there. Alright. It is charging $150 to your card. You can go ahead and insert. Alright, then you may remove your card. And would
would you please tell me the billing zip code for that? Thank you so much. Lovely, you are all set. Give us, like I said, two days, three days maximum. We'll give you a call. Your lights are ready to be picked up. And then you can come on over and get them, okay? Alright, well thank you so very much for coming in and shopping with us. We will see you in a few days.